In the last two lectures, we performed the conversion of y parameters to z parameters and the conversion of z parameters to y parameters. Now, in this lecture, we will solve our problem number one on the calculation of y parameters. So, let's read the given problem. Find the four short circuit admittance parameters. This means we are required to find the four Y parameters for the resistive two port network shown in the figure. So this is our two port network and you can see that we have only resistors in this network and therefore we are calling the network resistive two port network and we are required to find Y11 y12 y21 and y22 these are the four elements of the admittance matrix and we are required to find all four of them and in order to find these four parameters we will first find the four impedance parameters z11 z12 z21 and Z22 because we know that the inverse of the impedance matrix will be equal to the admittance matrix and I have already explained how we can calculate Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So pause the video and try to solve the question on your own. I hope you tried solving the question and now I will provide you the solution. We will first calculate the Z parameters and we very well know that in order to calculate the Z parameters, the step number one is to assign the currents in all the branches of the two port network. Current I1 is entering this node and it is getting divided into two currents. Let's say current in this branch is equal to I1 prime and current in this branch is equal to I1 double prime. Now focus on this node. You will find current I2 is entering the node and current I1 double prime is also entering the node and therefore according to KCL the leaving current will be equal to I1 double prime plus I2. Now focus on this node. I1 prime is the entering current. I1 double prime plus I2 is also the entering current. Therefore, the leaving current according to KCL will be equal to I1 prime plus I1 double prime plus I2. Two. And from here we can see that I1 prime plus I1 double prime is equal to I1. So in place of I1 prime plus I1 double prime we can write I1. So current in this branch is equal to I1 plus I2. Now let's move on to the step number 2 in which we will obtain the input KVL equation and the output KVL equation. The input KVL equation will be plus V1 minus 10 multiplied to I1 prime minus 40 multiplied to I1 plus I2. We have plus V1 minus 10 multiplied to I1 prime minus 40 multiplied to I1 plus I2 equal to 0. From here we will have V1 equal to 40 I1 plus 40 I2 plus 10 I1 prime. And when you compare this equation with the standard equation in case of Z parameters, you will find it is not the standard equation. Similarly, when we obtain the output KVL equation, we will find it is also not the standard output KVL equation and therefore our solution is getting complicated. 
So till now we have not simplified the problem but we have complicated it. And I can see that here we have the delta connection and we can replace this delta connection by the star connection. We will have the connection of three resistors like this and upon conversion you will find we can easily have the standard equations so let us perform the conversion let's say this resistor is resistor r1 this resistor is resistor r2 and this one here is resistor r3 and we know r1 will be equal to 10 multiplied to 20 divided by 10 plus 20 plus 5 so r1 will be equal to 200 divided by 35 and it is equal to 5.7 ohms and r2 will be equal to 20 multiplied to 5 divided by 35 so r2 is equal to 100 divided by 35 and it is equal to 2.85 ohms and now we will calculate our third and last resistance r3 r3 will be equal to 10 multiplied to 5 which is 50 divided by 35 and it is equal to 1.43 ohms now when we reconstruct our network we will replace this connection by this connection and this resistor is r1 hence its value will be 5.7 ohms this resistor is r2 therefore its value is 2.85 ohms and this one here is r3 hence its value is 1.43 ohms now you can notice one thing this resistor and this resistor are connected in series therefore we can have a single resistor in place of them having the value 41.43 ohms so we will have a single resistor having the value 41.43 ohms now it is very easy to find out the input kvl equation and the output kvl equation current in this branch will be i1 plus i2 now let's apply the kvl in this loop we will have plus v1 minus 5.7 multiplied to i1 minus 5.7 multiplied to i1 then minus 41.43 multiplied to i1 plus i2 minus 41.43 multiplied to i1 plus i2 equal to 0 from here we will have voltage v1 equal to 47.13 i1 plus 41.43 i2 this is equation number one now we will obtain the output kvl equation and for this we will apply kvl in this loop we will have plus v2 then minus 2.85 multiplied to i2 minus 2.85 multiplied to i2 then minus 41.43 multiplied to i1 plus i2 minus 41.43 multiplied to i1 plus i2 equal to 0 from here we will have voltage v2 equal to 41.43 times current i1 plus 44.43 to it times current i2 this is equation number two now we will compare the first equation with the standard equation v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 
So we are getting Z11 equal to 47.13 and Z12 equal to 41.43. Now we will compare equation number 2 with the standard equation V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. So we are getting Z21 equal to 41.43 and Z22 equal to 44.28. So in this way we have obtained all the four elements of the impedance matrix and in the previous lecture we saw that the admittance matrix will have the elements in terms of Z parameters as Z22 divided by the determinant of impedance matrix then we have minus Z12 divided by the determinant then we have Z21 with negative sign divided by the determinant and finally we have Z11 divided by the determinant so we will calculate the determinant of impedance matrix the determinant will be equal to 47.13 multiplied to 44.28 47.13 multiplied to 44.28 minus 41.43 multiplied to 41.43 so we have square of 41.43 when you solve it you will get the determinant is equal to 370 Point four five. So now we can easily have our admittance matrix. In the next step, we will put all the values. The first element will be forty four point two eight, forty four point two eight divided by three seventy point four five, three seventy point four five. Then we have minus Z12 which is 41.43 divided by 370.45. After this we have minus Z21 divided by the determinant and Z21 is equal to 41.43. So we have minus 41.43 divided by 370.45. And then we have Z11 divided by the determinant. Z11 is 47.13. So we have 47.13 divided by 370.45. Now take out your calculator and solve it. I will give you the final answer. The first element will be 0 0.1195. The second element will be minus. 0 0.1118 this element will be minus 0 0.1118 and the final one is 0 0.1272 so in this way we have obtained all the four parameters of the admittance matrix and this is our answer